Okay, so this is a special yoga sequence. It's all about a magic kingdom. And this magic kingdom has lost its jewels. That you're on a secret miss mission to help them to find it. Okay, and you've got help from some special friends. And also the fairies from this magic kingdom are gonna help you. So they firstly, they get you to take a deep breath in, big breath into your tummy, and out again. Deep breath into your tummy, and out again. One last time, deep breath in, and out again. Now, for us to hear these fairies, we need to press in a very special place in our ear. We need to put our fingers not in the ear canal, but just above that, there's a little dip. And we can put both our fingers in this little dip. And this is a special acupressure point. Now we're gonna take a deep breath in. And we're gonna gently push down for the count of four. Breathe in again and release. And gently push down for the count of four as you breathe out. Now, we've pressed this magic place. And I think that means we're gonna be able to hear the fairies. That's it. They're telling us that we've got a very special mission to get these jewels. We need to put on our special necklace all around our necks and it's got a big sack on it for us to get the jewels. Now, sitting up straight, we're gonna reach round. Oh, they've spotted some behind us. Quick, get the jewels. Beautiful, you pop the jewel into your sack around your neck. Now we're gonna reach around again. Oh, really reaching. And pop that jewel into your necklace. Well done. We'll do this two more times. Reach around, really stretch, come back. Brilliant. I'm going to put that jewel into your necklace. The last one. Reach around. Oh, perfect. And in it goes. But we're not going to be able to get these jewels all by ourselves. We need the help of our special friends. And one of our special friends is the frog. So come into a squatting position just like me. Don't use your hands and you're going to be the frog. You're going to go all the way to the end of your mat, all the way and reach and put that jewel into your necklace safely. And you're going to squat and walk all the way over to the end of this mat. Oh, and reach really far, stretching and put that jewel back in the necklace. You're going to go to the other end of the mat. That's it. Perfect. Reach really far. Get that jewel and pop that into your necklace. And then you can come to the end of the other side. That's it. And reach really far. Get that jewel and pop it into your necklace. Well done. Now, we've done fantastically. We've collected so many of the kingdom's jewels, but there's a lot more to go. We've come to some really long grass. We're going to need help from another friend, and that's the snake. So just like me, come forwards, lay on your tummy, and you're going to lift up your feet and lift up your hands. You're going to be a snake. Deep breath into your tummy. Like the sound the snake makes. That snake is moving through the grass. Another deep breath. One more deep breath. Well done. The snake has made it through the grass. You've done brilliantly. But now there's a river in front of you. So. Luckily, there's a boat. 
you bring your knees to your hands and lift up and you become the boat and then move gently with the waves back and forth as the boat moves through the water moving these jewels nearer and nearer to the kingdom at last finally we're there we'll take a deep breath just made it. So turn onto your backs. Oh, and the fairies are here to take the magic jewels away. If you lift up your magic necklace, oh, and push, 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 and the fairies have taken those jewels back to the kingdom. Put your arms behind your head and deep stretch push those fingers far back push those toes point those toes and relax well done everybody so now we're going to do some special breathing we're going to use a cushion just like mine we're going to pop the cushion on our tummies and that way we'll be able to see our amazing big balloon breaths. So, just like me, you're going to lie on your back, keep your hands up so your palms are facing upwards. Close your eyes and you take a deep breath in and as you breathe in, you're going to watch and be able to feel the cushion as it rises up. Big breath in. Breathing for the count of four and out and in and out. Well done, everybody. Now, these breaths are really important to help us to relax. We're going to use this technique in the next part of our relaxation. So if you follow what I do, keep your eyes shut. We're going to do some progressive muscle relaxation. So I want you to squeeze your toes really tightly, really, really tight and relax. Now I want to Squeeze your calves really, really tightly. Squeeze those calves, squeeze those legs and relax. Now you're going to squeeze your bottom really, really tightly. Squeeze, 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 squeeze and relax. Now you're going to squeeze your tummy muscles. Push them together really tightly. Squeeze and relax. Now you're going to push your back into your mat. Push, 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 push and relax. Now you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze and relax. And now you're going to push your arms down onto your mat. Push, 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 push and relax and now you're going to squeeze your hands together make two fists squeeze 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 and relax and now you're going to squeeze your eyes shut really tight squeeze and relax now squeeze your nose like a little bunny squeeze and and now squeeze your whole face together, squeeze and relax. Well done. Let's take two more big belly breaths again, feeling our tummies rise. Count in for four and out. Breathe in for four and 
hands out. Well done, everybody. The last thing we're going to do is a bit of mindfulness all about what happens when we eat our food. So I want you to think about your favourite snack. What does it look like? Mm, what does it smell like? What does it taste like? What does it taste like as you crunch it or chew it? Is it yummy? As you swallow it, you can feel it going all the way down your throat, starting to travel through your body. And then it finally gets to your tummy. By the time your snack reaches your tummy, it's going to start not turning into a snack anymore. It's going to start turning into liquid. It's going to pass into your intestines. And from that liquid, it will travel all the way through your body until eventually it becomes poo. And all the goodness will have left that and it will have helped you to get really strong and concentrate good at learning, be good at sports, grow really tall. And then what's left, it needs to leave your body. What does it feel like when you need to go for a poo? How does your body tell you it's time to go for a poo? It's really important we listen to that message so that poo can leave our bodies and give us more space us to eat more food so that we can get all the energy, all the nutrients that we need. So in the last part, I want you to take a deep breath in. Fill that tummy with air and as you push, as you breathe out, I want you to push just like you're going to do a poo. Those top tummy muscles, they Push down as you breathe out. Try it again. Deep breath in. And push out as you blow. Pushing those top tummy muscles down. Just as you do when you're going for a poo. Try it one last time. Breathing in. And as we blow out, we're going to push with our top tummy muscles and we're going to push all the way down as we blow. Well done. So now in your heart, you're going to repeat after me. Thank you so much, body. Thank you so much for taking all the goodness that I need from my food and doing such an amazing job digesting everything that I eat. And thank you for telling me and sending me messages that when I need to go to the toilet, that I need to go. I'm going to try really hard to listen to these messages that my body sends me so that the poo can go. And I give more room for my body more food. Take one last deep breath in and exhale. Now bring your arms above your head and stretch your feet and point your toes. Have a big stretch and wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and come back up to a seated position. Well done.